for you there'll be no crying for you the sun will be shining cuz i feel that when i'm with you it's all right i know it's all right and the song birds keep singing like they know the score and i love you i love you i love you like never before now no kuuleo ho nani la And the songbirds keep singing like they know the score And I love you I love you I love you like never before Aloha family, brothers and sisters, I give Father Ahaya all the glory, all the praise. I pray that you are blessed. Today is September 5th, 2024. And some of you may be asking, some of you that are just tuning in, please know that Father has brought you to this channel for a specific reason. And that reason is right now, Father is having us glorify and praise him with the power and the sound of our voices. Sound is vibration. And we didn't know <laughs> how very powerful sound is, but we've had several uh, in the body of Christ confirm this instruction. So before I get into all of this, uh, again, some of you may be wondering why I'm singing, because Father has commanded us to sing because it holds a great power for us to open that door. We have been given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So with this being said, I just want to uh, jump into this word uh, with the key of David and by the sound, the vibration of my voice. I pray and I plead the blood of Christ over this communication, over our minds, bodies, spirits, and our hearts in holy Ashaya's name. 
I give Father Ahaya, our Holy Mashiach, Holy Yeshaya, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, all of the glory and praise in Holy Yeshaya's name and blood. Amen. Okay, so some of you tuning in might know what this is all about because I have been professing this prophecy that I was given in uh, 2020, um, 2020 or 2021. It was January 25th um, that I shared it, that I declared it. And so I'm going to go over this again. I'm going to recap um, just for those who are just tuning in. Uh, you want to have some context. So on January 25th, twenty. 20 or 2021, I had declared um, this dream that I was given. So I'm going to go over the dream very quickly so that you all can be um, sort of up to date on this and how this is unfolding now in prophecy. Uh, some of you tuning in know that I have been having to profess and do a series, a secondary series on the introduction to the flower of life. And this has everything to do with harmonics. It has everything to do with Father's creation, the Vesica Pisces, the flower of life, sacred geometry, platonic solids. This is all mana that we have been given over the course of years, dating back from around 2017 moving forward. And so that's now coming into play. Let me jump right into this and I'll be reading from my notes so that you understand the importance of this word and how very powerful you are, um, how you are very instrumental. Literally, those are words that Father gave me. Each of us are instrumental to our calling and what he's calling us to do. So I'm going to read from the notes. Good morning, brethren. I pray that you are all well in spirit. I want to start off by thanking Father Ahaya for allotting this time of reflection. Now, keep in mind, this is January of 2020 or 2021. I cannot recall which year it was. I do apologize. Um, and to focus on the next level he is leading us to. Father is having me revisit uh, and delve into the Vesica Pisces, the flower of life, sacred geometry, and specifically how they, we are connected to harmonics. I asked Father Ahaya to confirm and to lead me. Uh, last night, he granted us a dream of Demi. Demi means of mine. Those are those who are his. Okay. Um, Father speaks to us in parables. She was on stage and she had taken to singing. She was illustrating and incorporating the Vesica Pisces and the Flower of Life. In the dream, it seemed to have been done in Braille dots. Thus, we walk by faith, not by sight, right? So we have to have faith when Father gives us this instruction. Uh, she was incorporating it into a musical routine. Now, those of us in the body of Christ know that this is very crucial because um, only those who could learn the hundred, uh, excuse me, only those who could learn the song, a new song as it were, they sang before the throne, must learn the song. So this isn't something that's just going to be given to us. We have to learn this. And Father, I can see clearly the pattern that Father has developed here over the course of years that he has had me prophesying. He is bringing the body of Christ together. All division, all discord will be left at the door Father is bringing the body of Christ together. Let me jump back into this word. He has me elaborate as I'm reading this, so please pardon me. Um, okay, and then Father has confirmed the following four-minute video, which I can share also in the uh, comments. I will do that. Um, but please know that this is instruction that he's been giving us for some time now, and it's coming back full circle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, this dates back from... May 18th, 2020, as I have on my sketch here. So this had to have been um, 2020, um, just so you all are aware. The Demi prophecies uh, had to be from then. Okay, so he had me sketch this. And in particular, he had me focus on our throats. And we know that in scripture, it says that the throat area is very crucial, right? Um, he's having me look this up now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Give me just a second. Okay, let me see. Now, of course, I've already um, stated that um, only those, the 144,000, are able to learn um, this song. 
Okay, so in Revelation chapter 14, verses 3 through 4, and they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. Okay, so again, I'm sharing you um, this sketch because Father had me sketch up until this point, he was having me sketch specific things he wanted in this. And this goes back to a prophecy of the rainbow bridge vision that I was shown over my throat. It was a covenant, Father had said. And this bridge was over my throat. Um, and give me just a second because he's reminding me here of the scripture about the guile. There was no guile found in their mouths. It, this was the next verse, by the way. Revelation chapter 14, verse 5. And in their mouth... Okay, our mouth, the instrument behind the mouth is the throat chakra. Yes, the energy center that each of us have. And in their mouth was found no guile for they are without fault before the throne of God. So again, adding pertinence and um, importance of the throat area. Okay, now I'm going to move forward. So on September. Well, I'm dating the September 5th. Please pardon me. I'm going back to my notes dated from December 18th, 2022. Now I'm going to read this to you because it's very crucial that you understand and have context again. This is very important. Father has me illustrate this and narrate this so that you have context of past prophecies given. Okay. So we read here, um, give me just a second, from December 18th, 2022. Uh, these were notes that I shared with the priests, the 12 that I have mentioned um, throughout these videos. Father has had me mention the 12. And this is mana that we received. So this was uh, me sharing. This is the original notes that I shared with them on December 18th, 2022. Last night as I slept, Father Ahaya woke me up with the words, make a joyful noise. Now you're seeing a pattern here. You're seeing way back from 2020, the prophecy of Demi Moore and the emphasis of those who are his, here, his rather, <laughs> will come to learn this song, the 144,000 could only sing, right? And then this is here, um, December 2022. And he said, make a joyful noise. Excuse me. And we read that in um, verse one. Okay. So now pay close attention, just as I gave this to the 12 priests, um, well, 12, including myself, I had to share this. I had to declare this. Okay. So this is really important because it was a twofold message. Not only was I given the words, make a joyful noise, right? But then I was given scripture, a song of praise to the Lord for his salvation and judgment. A Psalm, Psalm 98. Oh, sing to the Lord, a new song for he has done marvelous things. Give me just a second. Let me just Put this on the screen for you a little bit better for he has done marvelous things his right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory the lord has made known his salvation his righteousness has revealed in the sight of the nations he has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of israel all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our god shout joyfully to the lord all the earth all the earth priests we are royal priesthood. I'm speaking to you. If you are hearing this today, shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises, sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of Psalm with trumpets, which is your voice with trumpets and the sound of a horn shout joyfully before the Lord, the King, let the sea roar and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. This is so very crucial at this hour. Please catch this in the spirit. I have not read this prophecy and scripture that I was specifically given, like I had not um, reread it, okay, thoroughly. Please hear what Father is saying here, okay? Again, he is having me speak this now at this opportune time where we see the signs, we see where we're going, and we're heading into war. We're heading into this election. They're causing havoc. They're causing chaos, 
right? So let me back up here because he says in verse nine, before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth with righteousness. He shall judge the world and the peoples with equity. Okay. All right. So then I want you to see this, this very quickly, this um, scripture, please pardon me. I got to get this thing to work. Psalm 47 verse four. He shall choose our inheritance for us, just as he chose us. We didn't choose him. He chose us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Selah. Please pay close attention to this scripture. Again, I'm going to read it again. He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. All right. Now, this is the second portion of what I received when he said, May, thus saith Father Ahiah, make a joyful noise, all you nations. I was shown a dream in which I was being explained. These things were being passed down to us to carry through. There's nothing new under the sun. These things were given to also the chief musician, David, and the others who served as chief musicians. This involved trumpets. The sound of our voices are trumpets. Okay. Now, let's see here. Yeah, this was also included in the notes to the priest at that time. Again, remember, I'm reading from notes from December 2022. This was instruction that we received at that time and I had to proclaim and declare. Okay. Now, when he gave us make a joyful no noise, he made it clear this verse was um, pertaining to the number four, which we have shared on here off of my podium and the other priests have shared um, that it has to do with the number four in the alphabet odiot, the Hebrew alphabet odiot, okay? Now, when you go in here, you see, I have shared this from my podium several times, so most of you will be familiar with this. And you want to familiarize yourselves with the Hebrew odiot so that you understand how Father's speaking to us. He has shown us the door several times, and I have mentioned about this particular door um, and how it has to do with the four dimensions of space and time, okay? That is another um, prophecy that he has given where he has said, measure time and space. That will come into play. It has to do with the door. Um, okay, so now very, very important. This is super important for you to hear Father's words. In Psalm 47, and King Pi Blue Fame of Yah was given specifically Psalm 47 to sing from his podium, okay? Father chose the Hawaiian song that I sang. It's called Songbird, and it's by um, Kimi Minor. So I'm just letting you know, I didn't just choose that song. Father chose it for me to sing from my podium, okay? So we're going to reach all the nations, even the Hawaiian people, all of the nations, not just the Hawaiian people, but he had me sing that song specifically. He will know how that will vibrate through the earth eventually. So let me get into this very, very crucial um, uh, scripture. All right. And it says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people shout unto God with the voice of triumph of victory, right? For the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Selah. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet, he has given me with a shout and he has given me the word crescendo. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen, God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God, he is greatly exalted. I pray that you are catching this in the spirit. Because Father has said here recently that our, our voices hold great power 
and this is how these doors will open okay now we prophesy in part and we don't have all of the picture we don't have all of the prophecy he gives it to us in bits and pieces but no if you are receiving this word today confirm it with father ahaya and ask him what he would have you seeing but i'm telling you right now i already know he's going to confirm it for you if you ask in faith if you ask in faith father what am i supposed to be doing at this hour i'm sort of lost i've gotten that a lot i've i have received a lot of inboxes and emails saying that you know i, sh I should say a handful right i, I shouldn't say a lot because i don't want to like exaggerate it i have gotten a handful of emails or inboxes asking i don't even know where i'm supposed to be at. i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing father is saying for us to give him praises and we give him praises by singing a joyful noise okay because he is giving us our inheritance he shall choose our inheritance for us again if you remember when i was reciting the dream he said these things were handed down to us let me find it again Yes, I was shown a dream in which I was being explained. These things were being passed down to us to carry through. This involved trumpets. So I'm going to go ahead and end it on that. Father had me just quickly get these, um, these images and these, um, these um, prophecies so you, could, so you could have a visual and some context. But please, please know that right now we are, we are learning what father is giving as he gives it and it is leading to the song that only the 144,000 could learn and so as we receive it we will go ahead and release the instruction but please with anything so that you do not cause discord or division or worse even doubt go to father ahaya and ask him for confirmation because if you are one of the 144,000 and you have been shown this, we want to come together and we want to be able to learn that song that only the 144,000 could learn. I give Father Ahaya all the glory. I pray that this has blessed you. Holy is Yeshaya.